Let's be honest about cigars and health. There are real risks, but there's also signs on the other side that nobody talks about. The negatives are real. Increased cancer risks, mouth, throat, esophageal, pancreatic, gum disease, cardiovascular issues, even without inhaling. And cigars aren't a safe alternative to really anything. Anyone who tells you otherwise is absolutely lying, but frequency matters in the research. One to two per week shows different risks than one to two cigars per day. Nicotine is a nootropic. It acts on acetylcholine receptors in your brain. Research shows nicotine improves working memory, attention, and fine motor skills temporarily. Nicotine increases dopamine and neuroporephrine release. That's why you feel more alert and focused. It's very measurable and in regard regards to testosterone. Some studies show acute nicotine increases testosterone. Other studies show chronic use decreases it. So the data, it's mixed. These cognitive effects are real but temporary and they come with tolerance and dependence. But there's also the mental health piece. Genuine connection combats loneliness. Loneliness increases mortality as much as smoking 15 cigarettes daily. And that is documented. If cigars create 90 minutes of presence that builds relationships and has measurable health benefits, well, doesn't sound so bad. So here's the actual trade-off. Physical health risks against temporary cognitive effects, mental health benefits from connection, and stress reduction. All I'm saying is that the full picture includes research most people just never see. Make your choice with complete information.